All right, Bill here from uh, Maple Leaf Enterprises. I was on a bit of a sabbatical last couple of days, so no video. Uh, but I did want to do this one today because I did come up uh, this morning. Um, I needed to do some performance uh, tuning for a particular customer. And I was not able to install the SQL T tool. Uh, for those not familiar uh, with SQL T, SQL T is a command line tool uh, that... Oracle has to do performance tuning. And um, I was not able to install that because it is kind of an install. It's a little intrusive, right? It's it's an actual like product uh, to a degree. It creates a user, requires space, a uh, number of things uh, that probably vi violate all the change management mechanisms that are generally in place in most places. Uh, so a way to get around that, and you can kind of dance and put your tap shoes on, uh, is to use the SQL Health Check. It's kind of a dumbed down version of SQL T. And you can get that online uh, on Oracle support and it is free. Okay, you might take down this note number, SQL Health Check script, doc ID 13.0. 661331. All right, you can download it. Here's the documentation. Very straightforward install. It's just a zip file, and the zip file just unpacks uh, into a bunch of other scripts. It's essentially just one script that references the other scripts. There's three scripts, and that is it. It's very lightweight. You don't need an extra user. You don't need it, doesn't create any objects. It is just a script and it spits everything out into a clean, readable HTML uh, type format, which is really nice. And then there's a couple of switches you can pass through uh, depending on what kind of diagnostic packs um, you pay for and or not pay for uh, in your Oracle licenses. But you do, however, need to have a SQL hash value. Right, so it's at a point where we've already diagnosed the fact that we know which SQL is we want to analyze. So this by no means will be the tool that we will get that hash value from. This is after the fact. Um, and again, this is very lightweight. It's just a script. You should be able to bypass all the change management mechanisms uh, involved to run this script and you do need it's always best to run this thing as sys dba on the box itself uh, if you can and it's not very intrusive if at all uh, because it's going to use things that are there so that's pretty much it as far as the tool um, now as far as actually executing it what i would suggest you do um, is use some kind of uh, whatever it is, if you're going to use AWR report from the command line um, and then pump, that out, pump those out to an HTML file and look at those and get hash values from that, that is fine. You can use SQL Developer. I use SQL Developer because it was just easier, uh, just out of being lazy. And here in making a video, just trying to get a uh, hash value here, you could get one any uh, any of number of ways. Um, if you have Enterprise Manager, right, you could probably pull one from there. You can even pu probably pull one real time as well. If I was doing something like real time SQL Monitor, uh, I could actually pull one there. I don't have a hell of a lot going on in this database, so uh, in fact, it's it's dead. There's nothing going on. This is just my lab, so to speak. So. What I do is I, what I did was just pull some hash values uh, from here, SQL IDs, all right? And what I would suggest you do is, uh, if, especially if you're on a Unix platform, Linux, Linux platform, is create a file and then just copy the ones that you're looking to run and then paste them into a file. I call them hash because it is the hash value. And I just put two in there. Right, so I know these these are going to be the ones that I'm going to use. I could copy and paste those pretty easy because memorizing these are, you know, quite honestly, very, uh, you know, they're cryptic and it's a kind of a pain in the neck. Um, and then usually where I install my tools, I usually create a folder called Tools off the Oracle base. All right, and that's where I put them. You can 
put them anywhere you want. If it's a rack system, uh, maybe you, oops, not uh, base. If it's a rack system, perhaps maybe you want it on maybe a shared file system. Uh, it's always a good idea to maybe create one small slice of like an ACFS file share between the rack systems. Even if it's like a couple of gigs, like 10 gig, for this type of stuff so that you can dump your tools into one central location uh, so you don't have to have it on all your boxes across. You know, anyway, we can get into ACFS at another time. I don't want to throw another acronym out, but anyway, that's where I usually dump it. I just create a, I just create a folder called tools. I don't get fancy with it. Um, and that's where I dump it. And as, as I said, this is going to extract into a its own folder called SQL Health Check, okay? And that's really all there is to it. And then as far as passing the parameters through, you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, go in and then it's just start SQL Health Check dot SQL. And then the switches, it's DT or N, I always do, shame on me. Um, I will probably, you know, who knows, I'll probably get a call from Larry L. Edison himself and say, what are you doing? You do not have a license, but, um, and that's it. And that's what you're going to pass through. And you're going to pass through that hash value. Um, and then you're going to hit enter and then it's going to go and do what it does. Now, if you want an analysis of what it's actually going on here and actually, you know, by all means go in and VI the script and be my guest and go and look at it. Um, more power to you. I, it would give me a headache actually, if I was in there looking at what it actually ex executing, but, um, you know, if you feel indulged and you feel like being challenged, by all means, go for it. Uh, but that this is just going to go in and it's just going to grind through and, and generate a bunch of reports. It's going to go through the cost-based optimizer. It's going to see if things are executing properly. It's going to look at your parameters. And then it's going to pump them all out to a bunch of zip files with all different types of files in there. Um, and rather than just sit here and look at this and bore everybody to death, um, what it's going to produce, it's going to produce something along the lines of this, okay? Um, this is the kind of report that it's going to produce. It's going to break it down into the different areas that it did the analysis. Analysis, that'd be okay. Uh, too much coffee today, so I'm kind of tripping over my own tongue. Um, and there's going to be quite a few files in there to look at. You can see this as well. Here's another one, and it's going to give you explain plans. It's going to give you uh, different statistics, pretty similar to, um, I would say, an active session history report, which if you're used to running those. But if you don't have uh, grid control, and you don't have Enterprise Manager, you're not gonna be able to have access to that level um, of, of detail. And the nice thing about this is that this is gonna go ahead and just do everything for me, and I don't really need to do anything inside the database or nothing needs to be installed. I just need to run this script and I get all these just wonderful, wonderful statistics that quite honestly, probably 60% of them, I don't even know what it is that they do. I would actually have to go and look them up, but they are there for your entertainment value and or your usefulness, whether, you know, whichever you want to use them for. Um, usually for the most part, uh, the information that you're going to get um, is going to give you a least some places to go, right? It's gonna look at your parameters, it's gonna look at your cost-based optimizer, it's gonna look at your execution plans, and it's gonna say, here is where there are potential issues. You may um, wanna look at those things. And so it does generate a good report as well. Um, this is another piece of the execution plan is what it's gonna produce for you. Uh, again, I'm just analyzing some SQL hash value that has you know, it's just some internal uh, SQL that's running probably to just run the database. So it really has no meaning, uh, but this is the type of report that it's going to produce. And then you can go in and analyze it and, and pull out whatever you feel are the low hanging fruit and begin to attack your performance issue. So there you go. Um, it's SQL health check. One last time, SQL health check. Here it is. It's uh, free. A lot more lightweight and it's actually, you know, great tool 
uh, if you don't have the ability to install the full-blown SQL T. So hope that helps. Tip of the day. Have a good one.